Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, Dan's Railroad 2011. Uh, I wanted to do a little video update of some projects I've been up to over uh, the week. And I'll show them for you here. Okay, starting off, I have two SD45 T-2s, out there and ready to roll. Uh, I weathered them up myself. This is 49.23 here, and then I have 49.45 over here. I'll start with uh, 49.23. Okay, to make this brief, I simply weathered the cab, sunburnt it, and rusted it out. It's got like black exhaust and soot all over the roof. The dynamic fans are burnt out. It's got the accurate P3 style horn. It's got the grab irons. The rust kind of streaks out from the grill set there. Doors are a little damaged. I installed some uh, roof details on it. Trucks are uh, wired nicely. Fuel tank has some fuel spill here and there. Looks really good. Number boards, weathered. Noses are pretty dirty too. There's where the old uh, uh, gyro light used to be boarded out. Ditch lights have been installed. I installed a coupler bars to it and the MU hoses. Here's the other side. It's pretty much about the same. Really good roof shot there, so you guys can really see it. Some more fuel spill. All right, that one's forty-nine twenty-three. Here's forty-nine forty-five. They're pretty much identical, same weathering job. It's tanky. A little more dirtier though. Just a bit. It's also got the hand stall details. It's blackened out. I remounted the P3 to the correct location on the actual prototype back behind the dynamic blister where it is on the real thing. The only difference is that this one has plow mounted ditch lights instead of the others on um, 4923 which are any climber mounted so that's 4923 and 4945 that side. then over here I have a set of two HLCX EMD power this one here is an SD40R SD40 rebuild and this one over here is an SD45 T dash SD45-2 excuse me uh, patched out for UPRP which is another leaser who bought them out these are custom painted engines the trucks were custom done it's got the correct style trucks correct roof detail it's pretty dirty some of the fans were uh, changed out if you can see the difference it's got a RS3L horn it's got the duct work on the roof to circulate air it's got replacement fans there too it's got a brake wheel mounted to the back it's got all the details correct details, MU outlets, MU hoses, coupler cut bars, vents on the doors, the front shot, that one has ditch lights, there are classification lights on the nose, but as you can see those were boarded out, Forty-five. the 45-2, 
has a MU stand, no, uh, plow mounted ditch lights, MUs, cut bars, uh, RS3L mounted correctly right above the number board. It's got a radio platform there. An open cab door, if you can see that. It's dynamic units burnt out with soot and junk. Details on this end, on this side. I painted these and then grimed them up according to how they look in real life. HATX and HLCX. The same company, just in different, uh, uh, what's the word, sections, I would say. Different branches of the company. It also has a uh, Rotary beacon mounted behind the dynamic blister, non powered. These are both dummies. This one's a built up rail power, and this one's a Athern blue box dummy. And they're both custom painted. Okay, over here I got, I'll show you um, some quick work I've been doing. This is customer work I'm doing for a customer. This would be. An old style truck, it's weathering it. It's really dirty. It's really nicely detailed. It's got the cables, grabs, all the underframe details accurate. It's got mud splatter, rusty tire, hubcaps, fifth wheel there is all torn up. Just like how they beat in real life. And this one is the International Transstar. Then over here, I got two HO scale uh, TOFC trailers, which are called Pups, painted to uh, consolidated freight lines. These are custom painted. These sides are waiting decals. These sides have the decals already installed. And the frame's been weathered, the roof's been weathered, it's got a little exhaust sit there. It's one side. The yeah, other's also well underway. It's about the same. And that's customer work there. And lastly, over here, I just finished the Southern Pacific GP60. It is a super G super detailed one, excuse me. I installed uh, wire eye bolts on the top, the back hand grab irons, oh there, air conditioning unit, rotary beacon, a P3, hand grabs, it's patched out to Union Pacific. It's faded, it's dirty, rusty. It's got some leakage on the fuel tank there, if you can see that. It's currently assigned to local service on my mile rear with my Jeep 40-2 over there. It's got the MU's, cut bars, uh, ditch lights, grab irons. December 9715. Details there. It's one of my favorites I just got out. But, yeah. So there you have it. There's a little video update for you. Hope to be back soon. See you guys.